in hot water again after admitted to spying on animal activists. Yeah, but first, big changes on the way for Kohl's. Our consumer expert, Amy Davis, is joining us with the details. Yeah, big news for Kohl's this time because in June, there will be 18 fewer Kohl's stores across the U.S. The closures announced yesterday represent a significant strategy change for the department store. That's because it's the first time in the company's 52-year history that it's closing more than one store at a time. Now, they're not saying which stores will close until later next month. But meanwhile, the retailer says it plans to pilot smaller stores in seven cities and get into the outlet business with a dozen Fila stores. Walmart in the news because they've been hit with a lawsuit over their great value brand grated Parmesan cheese. In a suit filed this week, the plaintiff claims he bought the product at a premium price because he believed it was indeed 100% Parmesan cheese. But according to the complaint, the product contains 7 to 10% cellulose. That's a filler and an anti clumping agent derived from wood pulp. Walmart says the company is reviewing the allegations. And SeaWorld, it's now admitted that it had employees pose as radical activists to infiltrate PETA. The animal rights group claims at least one SeaWorld worker infiltrated the group to get information and rile up members. That employee was placed on administrative leave, but then later reinstated to a different department. Now, the theme park's been trying to regain its once family friendly image after the 2013 documentary Blackfish that raised questions about the link between SeaWorld orca whales being kept in captivity and their violent behavior. So a lot of SeaWorld news this week. That's the second yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. And I know they're gearing up for spring break and summer, so it's interesting to see how this is going to impact. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Amy. Thanks.